Hello and welcome to your Tuesday One Show with Alex Jones. And Michael Ball. Now, obviously, sad news this afternoon. I know you were incredibly close yeah. to Captain Sir Tom Moore and you spoke to Hannah, his daughter, didn't you? So how are the family then? Yeah, Hannah... You know, it, it is a sad day for of the rest of us. And it's ironic, isn't it, that he became a victim of the pandemic. Yeah. How do you think, though, you know, he'd want us to feel well, today? So many tributes have already been pouring in. Please keep sending them into our social media and email and we'll read as many as we can throughout the programme tonight. Just a couple to kick us off. Victor and Stella say many great folk have inspired us during our life, but one has stood out during the pandemic strife. The world is a much richer place because of him. Couldn't so agree true. more. It's lovely. So true. It was fantastic. But even more than that was the way you made us feel that there was a bright future. Uh, Sarah and Paul Reynolds say what a hero he was and will always be. He inspired an entire country at one of our darkest moments. What a legacy to leave behind. Yeah, well, to raise over £3,000 and he's going to be taking the consoles to the hospital next week. And that's the lovely thing, from yeah. tiny little tots to yeah. people, you know, 100 plus. Well, funny you should say that. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, yes, because we've had some video messages in, uh, such as this one sent in by 104-year-old Ruth. I think oh, we all need a bit of that. Absolutely. Don't we, it really, really is, Adrian, such a beautiful series. But before we see some more of that, I know you wanted to pay your own respect to Captain Swipe. Well, well, that's nice duty. and vague, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> Typical of Line of Duty, <laughs> if you ask me. But as you said, actually, the second series is back on BBC One from this Saturday at 8pm. Yeah. And Adrian Dunbar's Coastal Island is on Channel 5 on Thursday night at 8 o'clock as well. Adrian, thank you so much. Thank you, mate. Lovely to see you. you. Star. Now, uh, thank you. I mean, you have an idea about the work that they put putting in, but that Reality really gave you an insight, didn't it? Extraordinary. Thank you so much to all the teachers and the teachers' assistants around the country. Uh, and we'd love to hear from you as to why your child's teacher deserves a shout-out for going above and beyond during the lockdown. So just let us know on our socials and our email. And as you can imagine, our inbox is <laughs> filling up. We're just going to read a few more yeah, messages now. Tributes to Captain Sir Tom. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Hayley, we took this wonderful man into our hearts. Sir Tom, we love you. You're a true hero. Linda in Southall says, Such a sad day for us all, but my thoughts are with the beautiful family of Captain yeah. Sir Tom, taken by the very disease that inspired him to selflessly raise so much money uh, for us all, but also boosted all our morales and brought our nation together in doing so. Absolutely. Which they had to read. They are, they? aren't they? And they are. I, I'm sending my love to Hannah and the family. Uh, we've also got a little message here from Maisie from Sunderland, who completed a 140,000 step challenge with her cousin Jack, raising more than £2,000. And here's what she wanted to say. Oh. God love her. Maisie. Please thank God. you, Maisie, for sending that in. Yeah, smashing thank you. And joining us now is the chief executive of NHS Charities Together, Ellie Orton, where the money that uh, Captain Sir Tom raised went. Ellie. Evening, Ellie. How are you? Do you remember <clears throat> do you remember how you and your team first became aware of Captain Sir Tom and the spectacular? Very, very yes. proud. And the full documentary is being shown again tomorrow night, straight after us here on BBC One at 7.30. It's yeah. hard to watch. Yeah, it, it really is. It really, really hard. Is, yeah. um, we'll finish with some of your comments because we've had so many. Trish says, Rest in peace, Captain Sir Tom, a true gentleman and hero. You enriched our lives this past year. You will be greatly missed. Love to Hannah and your family. Yeah, Kelly says, Bless you for being there when it was needed the most. Give us hope and joy. With all that you've done for us all, we will never forget you. You, you will always be remembered in our hearts. You will continue to smile. Oh, that's a nice Isn't that one. Beautiful? Uh, Tracy in Dorset says, absolutely devastated by this news. Rest in peace, Sir Tom. Your legacy will live on forever and you will be forever in our hearts. Yeah. Uh, but especially for a dear and selfless UK citizen, Captain Sir Tom Moore, who lit up our lives and always spoke of hope.
Oh, uh, Ian and Vicky Evans, what a true inspiration to people around the world and such a legacy to the NHS. He's gone but will never be forgotten for his heroism, heroism in World War II and what he's done for a nation. It's extraordinary, isn't it? It is. Honestly, you should see this iPad. There's just absolutely hundreds, hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And hundreds. And hundreds. Thank you so much. They'll be so touched and we'll, of course, be forwarding all of these messages onto, onto the we family. We will. Uh, well, that is all from us tonight. Our thoughts, of course, are with the family of Captain Sir Tom Moore. We're going to finish with a song close to his heart, yeah. You'll Never Walk Alone. It was such an honour to have met him and have helped out with his fundraising and to be able to call him a friend. We'll never see his like again. <laughs>